Wow. Bold fucking statement. <laughs> Jamie Oliver, hmm. You can get used, and you're kind of almost expecting uh, celebrity chefs to be um, really harsh, really critical. Uh, they say what they want, they say what's on their mind. I'm all for speaking the truth and all of that. And when it comes to Brazilian food, fuck you, Jamie Oliver. Okay, yes, Brazil, an absolutely incredible, unbelievably beautiful country, amazing people, probably the most chill, relaxed people I've ever met in my entire life. The food here though, I feel like isn't getting enough credit. It's definitely not being talked about as much as it should. Brazilian food, I imagine that when you hear Brazil, a lot of people immediately think of Brazilian barbecue. Yes, we will be covering that food in this video, but there is so much more to Brazilian food and drink than just Brazilian barbecue. Brazilians take their steak, they take their food very seriously. As one person told me, Brazilians do it better. I, I can't argue. I kind of actually have to agree because the Brazilian food here is unbelievable. Even if you're not a luxury traveler, if you're just a budget backpacker like myself, Brazil is the place for you because the food here, you can get by an entire day on $10 a day for your food and drink. I am dead serious. Oh, I'm going to eat so much food. I'm actually like really hungry, so it's like a perfect day to just go all out and eat all the awesome food and show you guys all this amazing food. All right, let's get going. Okay, so the first stop on this culinary Brazilian adventure is this. This is a coxinha. This is the coxinha. And the other one is palm de coelho, which is like a cheesy bread. You'll find these lanchonetas like all over, especially in the cities. You'll walk past probably like five of these at, in during any given day. Now the coxinha, it's four rias, which is in Canadian a dollar, like a dollar twenty. And the palm de coelho, one of them is like two rias, three rias. Nice, light, fluffy bread. That's baked with cheese. Koshinya is a fried, like, little triangle of goodness. They're, they, they're always in this kind of shape. Now what Koshinya is, it's a chicken-filled cheese potato goodness. Like, it's so hard to describe. And the chicken is super seasoned, super good. But yeah, you bite into it and it's just goodness. My time here, I've eaten so many coxinhas and palm de coelhos. It's like the perfect little, like you can, if you're in a rush, you can just stop, grab one, go, and eat it on the way to work or wherever you're heading. The same with the palm de coelho. It's fast, it's easy, you just grab and go. You would always have like your favorite place, your favorite place for a certain type of food. You would always have like your favorite steak restaurant or a favorite place that does like the best steaks that you've had. Here, like every single place does steak incredible. It's, I can't pick a favorite place in Brazil for steak because every place is always great. Every place is delicious. It's always cooked perfectly. I, I don't know. They take it very serious. They are very proud of it and they have reason to be because they are massive. Of it. So me, I just got the kind of steak and as always it smells incredible and looks amazing and it's probably close to perfect. Now this. Focus? No, I don't think it's gonna focus. This is called Farapa. I know it looks like sand, but this stuff is incredible. Now what you do is you take your rice, the farapa, and you can just uh, mix it all together. The farapa, it adds like a really, really great flavor and taste to the rice. It's really, really great. I'm completely in love with it. Looks 
looks like sand, but I swear it doesn't taste like sand. And steak. Oh, 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 oh. Tender, easy to cut, cook perfectly. difference between different parts of the world. Most places, you know, you have a busy life, you have your job, you have all this obligations, all these things you have to do during the day. And one of those things is, oh, I forgot to eat today, or I need to eat something. And it's more like, oh, I have to eat something. Like it's a job, you know, like it's something you need to do. And you just force yourself to eat because you, know, you need food in order to keep on living. But here in Brazil, it's a little different. It's more like, no, 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 yeah, we need to eat, but no, we're going to eat. You treat it as something you really enjoy, and you thoroughly enjoy it here. The time I've spent here, anytime it's like, yeah, we should go eat. No, like, we're gonna sit down. We're gonna enjoy. It's not like, we need to eat something quick because we gotta go, we're really busy. It's like, no, 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 chillax. Take a breath, take a step back. Relax, enjoy, have a drink. Order a beer, you sit down with you and your friends, you order a nice meal, and you thoroughly enjoy it. It's not about just, no, I need to eat. It's like, no, we're going to eat. But even the food, you treat it as it is something to be enjoyed, which they fully enjoy it. Yeah, it's nice, it's really nice. This is Grana. This is a soda that you can only find in Brazil. It's from Brazil. It's made with the Grana fruit and yeah, I have a new favorite. Oh, damn, that's good. Even the smell of it. Like most sodas, I don't know, like, it seems like all you can smell is like the real sweetness, like all the sugar and additives and all that crap that they put in it like with Coke or uh, Fanta or anything like that, but this, this has its own smell and it's, the taste is like, and unlike anything else I've ever had. This is my new favorite soda. The sad part is I can only get it here in Brazil. I'm gonna have to get all my Brazilian friends just to start shipping me stuff to wherever I am. Coxinhas, granas, cachaça. <sighs> I wonder how many of these I could smuggle onto a plane. Hmm. This is what Jamie Oliver called shit. <sighs> yeah, fuck you, Jamie Oliver. Like, dude, how could you ever say that about Brigadero? Now what Brigadero is, Brigadero is a Brazilian dessert. But it's literally just a ball and this thing tastes heavenly. Now, there is a rule when you have Brigadero for the first time. This is like a safety message, make sure you're sitting down. I was standing and my knees got weak. I am dead serious, this dessert is like unlike anything else I've ever had in my entire life and it is so fucking good. It's unbelievable. Uh, okay, there we go. These, you typically find these in like bakeries or a coffee shop. Here, I just got stopped at a coffee shop. And yeah, you, they're, they're so good. They're light, they're tasty, it's sweet, it's heavenly, it's inviting, and it's so, it just melts in your mouth. It is, oh, 
greatest dessert ever. My favorite dessert for the longest time was Black Forest Cake. Yeah, not anymore. This is now the new favorite. This is the new standard for desserts to measure up to. This is impossible to beat. I don't think I'll ever find a dessert that will beat Brigadero. Muito incrível, muito fantástico, delicioso. Oh. Jamie Oliver. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Mm. Fuck, the taste just stays with you too. It's so fucking good. It's unbelievable. Stop at two doesn't just stop at two, just two. Two is enough, just two. Just two. Now, one of the best things about Brazil is all the fontanetas. You can just sit on the street, enjoy a nice cold brama. Or, if you've had a really tough day, get a cachaça. Cachaça is a Brazilian alcohol. Uh, straight shots of it. Yeah, it's it's got a little kick to it. It's very good though. Um, here they did it with a little bit of lime juice, uh, limon, yugo, and it's delicious. Yeah, another famous drink is Caprinas. Caprinas is with cachaça, sugar, um, and uh, some kind of some tropical fruit, uh, whichever kind you want. Pineapple, passion fruit, pomegranate, lemon, uh, limon, and it, they're delicious. They're really, really popular in Rio, especially on the beach. People walking by are selling fresh made cachas, uh, caprinas, and they're awesome. Super tasty, and you have one of those, and you're getting a little buzz on. It's pretty good. Me, being a little bit old school, you know, just straight up cachaça. Mm. No, but Caprinas, it's definitely one of the drinks you have to try in Brazil. I'm not really feeling like having one right now. It's a little bit too much sugar for me right now. I'd rather just chill with a beer. Now, the foods that I talked about in this video and I showed you guys in this video, like that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more food to try here in Brazil. These are just some of like the classics and the real favorites and so that you guys have an idea of what the food is like here and trust me like I, I this video could be very long i could eat a ton of food i could probably span this over like three days of nothing but food different meals every day different snacks everything but this is just to give you a little bit of a taste and also yeah uh jamie oliver yeah dude what the fuck is wrong with you insulting brigadero i get it like you're a health nut but dude big insult to Brazil. The Brazilians were not happy when that video came out. Uh, kind of prick. Brazil has incredible food and you have to experience it. Don't be scared to try anything that looks a little different. If you see something that looks tasty and delicious, chances are in Brazil is tasty and delicious. Just order it and try it and you'll love it. I've been eating absolutely everything here and I have yet to have a bad meal. I have yet to have a bad snack. I have yet to have a bad drink. No, just gonna sit here. Enjoy the beer. Enjoy the afternoon. Cheers, guys. Eu amo Brazil. Ciao.